behind. Thanks for joining me here in my shop. We're going to try to sort out uh, where the uh, trouble is that's causing uh, wires to burn up here in this Seaberg uh, selection receiver. And um, so far I've replaced one wire uh, up on top of the credit and collection unit. It's the first wire that burned. And then uh, next time uh, there was an opportunity, it burned some wires down here. So now I've examined those very closely in the last uh, video. Uh, the burned wires, where they go and what they are. And I spent a fair bit of time looking at the schematic to try to uh, put it all together. And I've done all that off camera to save the... Uh, it took a long time, let's put it that way. And I wouldn't have made for the best uh, video stuff. So just going through it here may take quite a bit of Quite a bit of time too. So, um, a bit of a closer look now. The areas I'm going to be talking about. So, one of them that's important to, to spot is that this this connection uh, row or uh, terminal strip uh, shows up on the schematic. It's actually an item on the schematic. You can actually count these positions and find them on the schematic. So that's a great thing. So we can start right off the bat by saying, okay, the burn wires are one, two, three, four, five, six. So from the sixth, one, two, three, four, five, sixth. Right here. That's right. The sixth position here. Oh, there's some numbering down here. I didn't see that before. Huh. Hmm. I'm not sure what it means. Four, five, six, seven, eight, four, three. Almost starts at three. Well, we'll look on the schematic and see if that's the case. That would be three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. In that case, hmm. I'm not sure what those numbers are down there, but I didn't see them before. Okay, so let's take a look at the schematic here. looks clear on the screen. So here's that terminal strip right here. And uh, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. It's true. The numbering starts at 3. So 2 and 1 must be somewhere else I never noticed. Is that it? I'm not sure. But we'll just uh, accept that they started this at 3. So it'll be three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight. So the burned wire is this is one of them. Remember one wire went to the top of a fuse holder or onto a fuse. There it is. But look which side of the fuse it's on. It's not on the downward side or downstream side. It's actually connected. Follow this all the way up through here, 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 here to this 25 volt transformer here. No fuse. Okay, now the other wire that burned is this one. Now you could stare at this schematic all day and really have a hard time explaining anything because th this wire here that comes away from this terminal, this, this, this wire here not burned. Burned, not burned. Because this connection of course doesn't really exist. You don't make connections just out in the middle of wires. It's just the way they draw it on the schematic. This connection is actually made here out this terminal. If you look at this terminal, there's two wires coming off it. Ah, two burned wires coming off. One going here and the other one going here. 
here being pin number 4. And so what that says is the fault current flows along here, down here, over here, back out, and out pin 4 on here. Okay, so we go over here now, here's pin 4. Okay, so it goes along here, now it splits. Or maybe this is this wire really comes back here. But this is the wire that burned first. So there it is again. There's the same power flow or circuit, if you like. Coming right through here, right down here, right around here, up here, okay, and out this socket. This socket goes to the electrical selector which is a different machine from the, uh, from what we have in front of us. So, um, not a lot more can be said about, uh, um, about the situation here other than even though the wires are burning in the selector, in the, uh, I'm sorry, the selection receiver, Um, the real cause looks like it's at the other end of the cable that plugs into it, and that cable goes to the electrical selector. And you know, I was thinking about this electrical selector. Why would anybody name that? That's the push button panel on the front of the jukebox where you want to pick pick your song. You go and uh, pick the uh, uh, song you want by pushing the keys down that when you push the keys down you're working the mechanics of the electrical selector and I've been curious about that until last night it dawned on me maybe maybe in the early early days of jukeboxes there was a mechanical uh, selector so that would explain why uh, when the more modern one came along they just called it an uh, electrical selector there you go who cares okay <laughs> So I think that's uh, just about all we can say. So I think the uh, the next step is going to be uh, to bring the electrical selector here into the shop with this unit and uh, work on it to try to find out where the short circuit is. Now I got to think a little about this because. It, in taking the electrical selector out of the jukebox, I could very well undo the problem without ever knowing it. And uh, I think it's really important to get down to the bottom of this. So probably some simple tests by taking the uh, plug end and just testing the resistance back up into the electrical selector. Um, you know, well, what am I going to see? I'm going to see a short circuit. What else can I see? Gee, if I already know that. If I already know the results of the test, I don't have to make the test. Duh. I should be taking a look at the schematic for that electrical selector. <laughs>